Hey everybody, I'm so happy to see you guys today. Hey everybody, come over near. It's time to do the opposite cheer. When I say open, you say open, open, close. Hey everybody, come over near. It's time to do the opposite cheer. When I say hot, you say hot. Hot! That's right. Cold! Hey everybody! Come over near! It's time to do the opposite cheer. When I say big, you say big, big, small. You got it! You guys are so good at your opposites! Well, I wanted to show you guys some really fun projects to do again today. Some that will need a little help from mom or dad. The first one is we're going to make a top, a spinning, spinning top. And we're gonna make it out of stuff we have around the house. First, a piece of cardboard cut into a circle. You can help mom and dad find the right size circle. I think I used a paint can. You can find the right size circle and trace it onto cardboard. Mom or dad will cut out the cardboard. Next, draw a design on top. I chose lines bursting out of the center, but you pick whatever design you want. I wonder what polka dots would look like. Swirls, even little animals. Next, mom or dad will put a hole in the middle. Can you see the light shining through that? It is the width, the width of a penny. Now we're gonna use our pinching L to pick up the penny and slide it into the hole. Half of the penny is on top. Half of the penny is on bottom. You're gonna use your pinching L and give it a twist. Wow, the design changed. The colors blended together. It was an trick of the eye, an optical illusion. I wonder how long I can make it spin. Whoa! Oh man, that fell off the table and didn't spin at all. Ugh. Do we give up, Bison? No, we're gonna try again. So I'm gonna get my pinching L out and try another spin. Ooh. Wow, went off camera, here we go. Make sure that penny's in the middle and twist. Ooh, I'm gonna count this time. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> five seconds. I wonder if I could beat it and spin longer. I wonder if I could race my mom or dad and who would spin the longest. I wonder if I tried a little circle, a bigger circle. What if I used a quarter instead of a penny? What if I used a nickel or a dime? Experiment making some fun spinning tops today. My teacher writes a letter for me. What's that letter? Let's look and see. Big line down, little curve. D, that's right, it's a D. D has a diaper in the back. We always like that silly D. <laughs> My teacher writes a letter for me. Line sliding, across, line sliding, across. What's that letter? Let's look and see. X, yes. My teacher writes a letter for me. Little line sliding down, boing, sliding back up. What's that letter? Let's look and see. V, a very sharp letter. You got it. My teacher writes a word for me. What's that word? Let's look and see. C, A, T. The C says K. The C says K. Every letter makes a sound. The C says k, k, a, t. 
Hmm. I better say it faster. Cat. 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 I heard it. My teacher writes a word for me. What's that word? Let's look and see. Help me sound this out. B. A. G. B. A. G. B. A. G. Faster. B. A. G. B. A. G. B. A. G. B. A. G. We read it. Good job, Bison. Now we're going to do a little project we did in class because today is the first day of spring even though it is icy cold. So have your mom or dad or a printer or you draw a flower. Again, I found a circle to trace for the center and I drew some petals. Step two, thumb fingers, thumb on top. Open, close, open, close, scissors are for sitting and cut out your flower. Next, use a waxy crayon, a waxy crayon because wax doesn't like water. And in the next step, we're going to put this in water and color the petals and design of your flower. I'm going to make some purple petals. And I'm going to make some orange petals. And you know what I'm doing? I'm making a pattern out of mine. Hmm, patterns. Patterns have things in an order. Patterns have things in an order. Patterns have things in an order. Repeating again and again. Purple, orange, purple, orange, purple, orange. Let's give it a letter name. Orange will be A, purple will be B. A, B, A, B, A, B. Let's give it a number name. Orange can be one, purple will be two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now next step is to fold the petals in. Get out those pinching owls. Push them into the middle. We've done this project in class before, so you will know what to do, Bison. Fold in the petals. And then, what? I have a different shape. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. How many points? One, two, three, four, five, six points, six corners. That's called a hexagon. Now we're going to take our cup of water and set our flower in it. One side has no petals. The other, I can pull up the petals. That'll be the top. Let's set it on the surface, the top of the water, and let it float and watch what happens. As the paper gets wet, what will happen to the petals? Does anyone remember this experiment from the bison classroom? It takes a little time, but as the paper gets wetter and wetter, the petals start to unfold and reveal the beautiful pictures you made inside. Oh, I spilled a little of my water. Let me wipe that up. All right, Bison, you know what? I'm thinking of an animal. An animal that has a waxy coating, just like the crayon, so it doesn't get cold and wet. An animal that has feathers, but does not fly. An animal that lives in the southern hemisphere, below the equator, in places both warm and cold. Have you thought of this animal yet? It's a penguin. <laughs> Bison, we are going to do one more project, and I'm going to show you the materials you need. You need a clothes hanger. Well, what do you use this for? Maybe to put your coat in a closet, to hang up a clean shirt. You need a clothes hanger. 
You need string. Y'all need tape. <laughs> tape. And you'll need some cups. Cut two pieces of string the same length. I measured from one side to the other of my hanger, just like this, and cut two pieces of string. Next, tape the string to each side of your cup. One side of the string gets taped to one side, the other side of the string taped to the other, and now I have a little handle. And I have another little handle. What are we gonna make out of these swinging little baskets? Well, let me show you. Grab your hanger and set these cups in the little holders. We're making a scale. Here's the fulcrum. One side will go down, the other side will go up like a teeter-totter. What was the name of that simple machine we just learned about? A lever. So I'm gonna set mine on the fulcrum that I have set up over here. And to do that, I'm gonna show you right here. All right, can you see? Great. All right, as you can see, the cups are the same height. They're both hanging pretty even. But what happens when I add some weight to it? I found some items around my house. Now you have stuffies to weigh, cars to weigh, blocks to weigh. Here's what I found. I have an apple and I have a pear. Which one do you think is heavier? I'm gonna put the pear in the purple. Puh, puh, pear in the puh, puh, purple. P. What happens to the scale? Whoa! The purple cup is heavy. It is lower than the orange cup. Let's add the apple to the orange cup and see which one is heavier. Which is heavier? The apple or the pear? Can you see from there? This is tilting down. The purple is just a little heavier. The apple is lighter than the heavy pear. Let's try one more. I have a lime and a lemon. Take a look at these. Which one do you think is heavier? The lime or the lemon? Hmm. Let's see. I'll put the line in the purple cup. Right now, the purple cup is heavier than the orange. It's lower. Let's add the lemon to the orange cup. Whoa! Which cup is heavier? The orange cup. The lemon is heavier than the line. Now, you can hang this up on any doorknob in your house to make your very own scale. And I can't wait to see what you guys weigh today. But will you help me with one more thing, Bison? I'm stuck down on the ground. Can you help me grow? I can count by tens. Ten to one hundred. I can count by tens. Ready, here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Bye, Bison.